Hi, I'm Robert Dunn. I'm talking today about the importance of coaching. Um, through my years of playing football and, of course, basketball, I've had multiple coaches. And my head football coach in high school was like one of the most, um, the biggest, I guess, guys in my life so far because he's helped me with so many different things. And I still go back to him and talk to him on a regular basis. Um, we're talking about, I'm going to talk about how to become a coach and then what their main jobs are and then how they make better players and better people through coaching. All right, well, in order to be a coach, it's not a big school commitment, depending on what level you go to. You all, every coach has to have a certification to coaching, which is right here is what you'll get once you uh, are certified. And for high school coaches, for the most part, they're always teachers. You gotta go through teaching. Make sure you're able to teach so you can keep the job. But if you go up to college and high, you need a bachelor's degree, something, to where you can get high. But another big, the, probably the biggest part of it is just having, you know, the passion and playing career are two of the biggest things that help a coach find a job. Um, I mean, of course, after you get certified, you're going to have to put it into practice, which is, I mean, of course, just coaching. There's some things that coaches do that are behind the scenes, which is like scouting their opponents and putting up a game plan and recruiting different players. They go out of their way to make sure they do this to the best of their ability so they can win. Because ultimately, coaches are seen through a magnifying glass if they win or lose. They also do the work they can see because they sit there and they teach and instruct the players in the game how to be safe. They supervise their players during practice and during other things that they do with like, like we did a, a golf tournament so that we had to supervise the players to make sure we didn't get anything we shouldn't. They gotta maintain the equipment and uniforms to make sure they're in shape to where they can end up being used. And you gotta make those quick decisions during the game, which everybody sees and everybody either criticizes or says they're a genius. According to Super Winning Coach Bill Walsh, head coach's job begin with uh, setting the standard of competitiveness, competitiveness, which that starts from the coaches so they know how hard to push the players and then the players to know what is expected of them. Because if they know what's expected of them, they're going to go to that point and possibly beyond. Through just doing their job, they are molding players into either better players and better people. Their main job is to make uh, players better because that's why they coach them. While doing that, though, they are teaching the players the five different things to be successful, which is encouraging good habits, drilling the fundamentals, building confidence, focusing on long-term development, development and emphasizing the intangibles, which are sportsmanship and character, which they will use later on in their life for bigger and better things. Going off of that, that's what helps the coaches mold their players into better people. They gotta have the sportsmanship and character especially to do it, to succeed. Um, when you're, they say whenever, uh, according to Zingler, um, whenever you're coaching younger kids especially, you coach the player first, in between the ears, before you coach the athlete. Because them, high school and younger, yes, you're teaching the fundamentals, which is very important, but there's a very small percent of these people actually going to college and to the NFL or whatever, major leagues, to play. So teaching the inside of here is more important than teaching the actual player how to be a better player. Because it's something they'll use later. More than players is something that like, it, it's the most impactful thing a coach can do. And you can tell a good coach from how the players react around them and after they leave. Becoming a coach and their jobs and how they affect an athlete are the big things that coaches do. And coaches are some of the most valuable pe uh, people in athletes' lives. My coaches, I mean, even after I stopped playing basketball, me and my head coach, we were still real close. We, he always gave me a hard time about little things. And my head coach, we still go, uh, I still go to him every other day and talk to him. And I just feel like coaches are some of the biggest things that uh, help athletes later on in life because they're role models for them. Thank you.